Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jerba here with a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And tonight, going to be playing as the spy with the loadout that's on the screen. I will not forget to put it this there this time. I know I did that last time in the engineer video. I didn't put the damn loadout, but it's there right now. It's the spy. You know what you see it. Bang, baby. What we're going to talk about in this video is the most recent Team Fortress 2 update and how I'm a little disappointed and now before anybody says it's free content you just shut up you I'll kill you like no I, I love whenever we get stuff in Team Fortress 2 I love it I made this video the same type of video maybe like a couple weeks ago talking about how we haven't seen a very major content update in the last like six months or so and you gotta go back to Christmas time to really get something significant I'll leave a link in the script this this video I'll leave a link in the description for you to go check this video I'm talking about out, and then we can keep the discussion going further. But regardless of all of this, this update was touted as the biggest community update ever. I remember looking at the front page, and I got the tweet that it was, Oh, here, here comes the new Team Fortress 2 robotic boogaloo. I was like, oh, sweet. A lot of you guys were talking about this before. I knew it was going to be like a lot of hats. I knew it was going to be mostly cosmetic stuff. But I didn't realize that it was going to be to the extent that it was. And all we really got from this was just gibbuses that have screws in them. Like, really? I mean, that's cool. That's interesting. But I feel like they made a really big deal out of this. Like, all right, guys. In the biggest community update Team Fortress 2 has ever seen, you can now get a tyrant's helm with a bolt on the side. Isn't that cool? Isn't that really cool? And it is. It is cool. This robotic boogaloo thing, the whole community created, even the animated short, all the items, everything was made by the community. And that's a big applause to Valve. They're spreading all the money out that this thing makes to all the creators. That's fantastic. But there's so much stuff in the Steam Workshop that they could have used. There's so much awesome stuff that's just sitting there collecting dust in the Steam Workshop that I would have rather seen like the biggest, like the community update, bring in some of that really cool stuff. I mean, even like the Grodboard stuff. Isn't there like a medic and a scout Grodboard pack that's just sitting in the Steam Workshop that they're just like, yeah, that's like kind of cool, but like we'll we'll do that so, uh, to, to, soon to next year. Like when when is that gonna get here? This the robotic boogaloo seems like the perfect opportunity to bring in like the weird alien robot weapons, doesn't it? Doesn't that doesn't that make sense? But all this complaining that I'm doing, which it's not really even complaining, I, I'm just really nitpicking here, guys. But but all of this complaining aside, what this shows is that, like, I, I remember, I've talked about this before, Valve, I think, is going to hand this game over to the community, because with updates like this, where it explicitly says, hey, we didn't do anything. None of the Valve employees did shit on this update. Like, you guys did everything. We're going to see a lot more of this, and it's incredibly encouraging because here's where this breaks down to an even more amazing level. On YouTube right now, like I'm going to give you a, a parallel to this. On YouTube, I upload content of video games, and I get paid for it. Now, I don't get paid a crap load of money. I can't really say I can live off of this income like, like a king, but I can still do it. I still make enough money doing YouTube where I can like scrape by. Now, in the coming years, if I continue to do this, which, I mean, I don't see a reason why I would particularly stop doing it, it could grow, it could grow, and I could make a very livable, comfortable income off this. The same thing can be said about this Valve Steam Workshop stuff and other stuff in general. Like, think of, like, EVE Online and Second Life and, and some of these community games where people can actually make a real living off of the content that they really didn't have anything to originally do with. Me getting paid for uploading Team Fortress 2 videos, I, I would never would have imagined this before because it wasn't a thing. Like, I don't own Valve. I can't, I don't run Valve. I'm not a Valve employee, but I'm still getting paid because of them, if that makes any sense. And, and the Steam Workshop stuff, like this, if this update proves anything, guys, it's that, yes, you can actually make a living, potentially, on your creativity. You don't have to go work for some big corporation, you don't have to go work for some artist company and, and bore yourself to death for you the rest of your life. If you get a Steam Workshop item through Valve, 
Oh my god, well, here's 30, 40,000 friggin' dollars. Like, congratulations, like, now I'll make another one. Like, it's... Even supplementally, this is a big thing. Because if you, even if you have just a 9 to 5, you play TF2, you play Dota 2, or any of the, the Valve Steam Workshop stuff that's kind of trickling through in the coming years, let's say you just do it for fun. And you make like thirty, forty thousand dollars a year just by yourself in America. I don't know what it's, what the different, uh, how much people make on average in other countries, but in America, the average income I believe is forty-five thousand dollars. So just one, like I said, one Steam item workshop item going through, can can change your life. <laughs> like it really could. They could like change your entire life. But to wrap this video up and bring this kind of full circle, I kind of went off on a tangent there about like internet money and gaming communities and stuff. But it's true. This update proves it. I, I said it earlier. If this update is willing to pay its players real hard cash for making cool stuff, then hell, I am 100% in support of updates like this. But although I am a little disappointed in the content of the update, but that's neither here nor there. I'm sure we'll see some other awesome stuff trickle in in the next like, coming months and coming years. And if you have anything to add, guys, please, by all means, leave it in the comment section. I love to read it, love to be involved as well. And uh, we're going to wrap it up there. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys all next time. And of course, take care, everybody.